good morning students today we will learn about the factors and medication influencing into the lactation period okay so we already learn about the what is the lactation and what are the stages of the lactation so there are total five stages of the lactation in that mammogenesis galactokinesis galactopoiesis okay lactokinesis galact lactokinesis okay and involution these are the five stages of the breast lactation period okay so now today we will learn about the breast milk composition so what kind of the composition included into the woman's breast milk so this kind of the composition that is colostrum mature milk form milk fine milk and transition milk transition milk is not another but the mixture of the form milk and the hind milk okay so these are total five composition of the period of the breast milk so first we will learn about the colostrum so it will seen into the first to five days into the lactation period it is richer in proteins minerals immunoglobulins anti inflammatory factor that is pge1 pge2 and cytokines and the phagocytes and lymphocytes so what is the function of the inflammatory factors and we already know that the baby have necessary of the more energy okay and nutrients into the first phase okay so for growth and development of the proper baby so uh, colostrum rich in the protein minerals immunoglobulin anti inflammatory factor phagocytes and lymphocytes so anti inflammatory factors mean if any disease occurs then first process is done it, that is the antigen and antibody reaction occurs and if what factor is uh, strong then it will win okay so if antigen is uh, powerful then it attacks into our body and it enters into our body as a, an infection but if our antibody is strong then the it resist on the antigen okay so this kind of the inflammatory factors build up in our body that is pge1 pge2 and cytokines okay so this is very important for the baby also so colostrum occurs into the first to five days into the lactation period then mature milk mature milk seen up to the 30 days then it is larger quantities than the colostrum okay so it consists the larger quantity of the colostrum okay in colostrum that is the small quantity but in mature milk that is larger quantity more than colostrum okay then for milk and hind milk in for milk the thin proteins lactose water and other nutrients are present in for milk okay thin watery protein and the other nutrients and in hind milk more fat therefore the vita provide the much of the energy of the feed so it provide the more energy and powerful to for the baby okay so in the mixture of this both kind of the milk that is for milk and hind milk it will become into the transition milk okay so these are all the components and composition of the breast milk in other component it include the human growth factors so it will help into the baby's growth and development then cortisol insulin thyroxine and the prolactin level okay so these all are also present into the lactation period okay next one is the composition so in this table also given the value into the value form of the human colostrum and human breast milk so different kind of the protein immunoglobulin fat lactose calcium and sodium and phosphorus given into this table as a composition of the breast milk okay as i told earlier so it is common but described into the table form next one what are the factors affecting to the lactation period so some kind of the maternal problems occur into the mother so it will affect directly to the baby also so first of all stress environment is very very affect for the woman and the uh, newborn baby so in postnatal period the stress must be avoided into the home and new environment surrounding by the woman okay so because uh, because of the stress woman can't 
properly take care of the newborn baby and family also so due to the whole stressful vaginal delivery or whole pregnancy phase women try to be a, a happy into the new life of the newborn baby okay so avoid the post uh, avoid the stress then the polycystic ovarian disease so this kind of the complication occurs into the pregnancy and into the postnatal period that is cyst formation occur into the ovaries okay so this may create a major complication for the woman also and it uh, he, she can't become a happy and live a healthy life okay so this kind of the complication must be prevented previously okay then thicalutin cyst this is also the types of the cyst occurs into the women's and obesity if a mother having a more weight or obese so it can create a problem then labor analgesia dm type 1 means diabetes mellitus type 1 then placental retention increase the circulatory progesterone so all hormones mainly affect into the maternal problem and the alcohol dependence so this kind of the problem affecting to the lactation period okay next in next that is two points also included into the affecting the lactation period that is infrequent sucking reflex and failure to empty breast it will causes the elevated inflammatory pressure to also disrupt the connection between the cells and their attachment to the basement membrane so it will disrupt it into the synthesis and secretion of the milk components in stages we already learn about if baby's mouth and the nipple of the mother is connected so the attachment will be created and by that the baby can suck by sucking reflex baby can suck the breast milk so if not occur properly attachment then failure of the uh, breast feeding occur or feeding occur so it will affect into the lactation period okay then premature infant and prolactin may not be sufficient so due to the prolactin level if it is not to sufficient then the infant become a premature okay so the growth of the proper baby can't develop so premature infant okay arrive next medication that affecting into the lactation period so some medication increase the lactation and others are decrease the lactation period so what kind of the drugs increase the lactation period that is metoclopramide dompyridone pano uh, phenothiazine neuroleptic then chlorpromazine risperdal hypoglycemic okay h2 antagonist cimetidine anti hypertensive methyl dopa and beta blockers so first of all dempyridone is a anti emetic drug then hypoglycemic it is for the diabetic woman then h2 antagonist okay this also help into the mother for the increasing the lactation period an anti hypertensive for maintenance of the hypertension into the lactation period so these all are drugs that help into the increase of the lactation of mother and these drugs are reduce lactation that is bromocriptine okay that act as a do dopamine agonist then progesterone and estrogen clomiphen citrate ergotamine pseudofedrin then pyridoxin prostaglandin and levodopa okay so these all are drug reduce the lactation of the mother okay so these kind of factors also affecting to the mother in lactation period now what advice we can provide to the mother for improve the lactation because some factors and some medication that affect to the mother very majorly so in that case we can provide the nursing management or general advice to the mother that is first of all care of the breast and nipples during the pregnancy yes this is the most important point that care provided for the breast care is maintained by the mother okay into the pregnancy phase also then postnatally frequent breastfeeding because after the birth of the baby uh, 
fluctuate to breast feeding given continuing breast feeding given to the uh, baby okay because it will help into the growth and development of the newborn baby and proper nourishment provide to the newborn baby so continue breast feeding is needed then avoid the breast engorgement if a problem of the breast engorgement or crack nipple is there then mother advise for the applying the uh, breast massage or uh, avoid the uh, avoid the giving breast milk to the baby okay and hot application also may prevent this kind of the breast engorgement and breast complication also then plenty of fluids given to the mother adequate nutrition because healthy diet may uh, increase the growth of the baby also so uh, mother advice for the taking healthy and adequate nutrition into their diet okay then maintain a good health by the hygienic practices early and sufficient treatment of the illness because some complication may arise previously but if uh, if can't diagnose then it may create a major problem into the later complication so it affect the woman as well as baby also so early diagnosis and treatment is given of the proper illness then proper balance between the rest and exercise and freedom from the bodies means stressful environment avoided by the mother so these all are point included into the lactation period okay so thank you